On arrival at the scene of the incident with the commissioner, ABS crew observed that rescue work was still ongoing and there was atmosphere of grief and mourning. Mr. Ezenwan explained that the state government will launch full-scale investigation into the incident and decisively deal with those involved in the construction of the building if indicted. The commissioner restated that the state government will henceforth take over the building site of collapsed building. Thank God for saving the lives of the injured while praying for the souls of the dead to rest in perfect peace. The commissioner also visited some of the casualties who were admitted at Nam De Azikwe University Teaching Hospital in Newe. I must tell you, this is a very ugly incident and completely unacceptable. I can assure India and everybody that is directly involved that government will not take this thing right now. We are going to launch full-scale investigation, full-scale investigation, and anybody that is found culpable will go in for it. And very soon, our heart goes out to people that lost their life, their families, the, the, the entire government of Anambra State is with them. One of the injured persons, Mr. Collins Akoyi, who wept bitterly in pains because of the injuries he sustained, said that he had not been treated properly by the hospital due to paucity of funds, calling on government and good-spirited individuals to urgently come to their aid to save their lives. This is too much. Maybe uh, make the government make it help us. Maybe it's it. So, yes, yes Linda, with the sofa. Uh, with the sofa. No, so this morning. Meanwhile, the body of the dead have been deposited in the mortuary. From Otolo Newi, in Newi North Local Government Area, I am Emmanuel Shibata reporting for ABS News.